Nicholas Blixel, thank you very much indeed for joining us here at Econ and Middle East. Thank you, Al. What can customers and the industry expect at the Ericsson MWC 2024 Pavilion? Oh, they can expect a lot. I mean, we've been here consistently over the years in the whole tour, and every year there is something new. So what can we expect? We can expect sustainability. Our radios getting smaller, keeping the same power, lower energy footprint, good for the sustainability, good for the uh, the customers as well. Uh, we can expect a lot of AI discussion. Uh, basically, we have prompts in our uh, standalone core where we can uh, ask uh, about network performance, about with the LLM uh, models, also ask for specific slicing, also AI for predictive maintenance, collecting all the input of the data to avoid the possible outage. So all AI is almost in everything we are, uh, we are presenting here now also. Of course, 5G use case monetization. Uh, we've been talking about that a lot. I mean, uh, 5G started uh, with the biggest use case being FWA. It's been widely deployed. We see that in many countries in the GCC. It's going now to these uh, private networks, which is uh, enhanced by uh, standalone and slicing, as I just mentioned. And next step will be the fully integrated enterprise use case. Well, we have a demo here with uh, AstraZeneca, a pharma company, uh, that shows a hands-on how it's actually being done. So this captures a lot of uh, uh, a lot of interest. So this is what you can ex expect. Always some say uh, improvement from the previous year and also a forward-looking uh, technology so that we are open, uh, uh, open in our, our, our platform now, where it's APIs, where it's RAN, uh, and so forth. So uh, you are contributing to technology leadership as a, as a leader, as we should do. Wonderful. And we learned that Ericsson has plans to highlight how 5G expansion and deployment can be sustainable. Can you shed a little bit more light on the sustainability aspect? Yes, I mean, we look at our customer operators that requires a lot of energy. So we want to contribute to the sustainability for the society, but also for our customers uh, by reducing the needed power for our, uh, our radio products, which is the main uh, power consumption. And we do that even in core also. So you have this statement called more, more and more. So it's more, uh, more performance, more power optimization, uh, smaller um, uh, radios. So this is ongoing, 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 ongoing. And we're doing a lot of demos on the small radios that would have been a huge if we didn't have developed that technology today. So the customer appreciates it and we're pretty proud as Ericsson to lead the way in that sustainable area. Now, going through your Q4 results, we saw that sales in the Middle East and Africa region were up 4% uh, year on year. Uh, what do you attribute this to? And um, And, you know, Going forward, how do you see your global average uh, expanding uh, in the future? I mean, that's a great question. I mean, that we are growing our sales in the region shows that we are obviously doing something right, that uh, the customers are ready to pay their hard-earned money for. So we are very humbled and proud about this. Uh, it's a lot of hard work from our side, technology leadership, as we said, but lots of excellent people that we have on the ground in the, in the Middle East and Africa dedicated to the customers as well as the 5G uh, expansion. They'll keep on, uh, they'll keep on coming. I said there's some use case that WA has reached the uh, uh, enthusiasm for the operators to invest more in 5G. I mean, the capacity is increasing. I expect a new wave of that with the private networks, with the standalone, with the use case coming. So we'll just have a beginning of the 5G uh, rollout. And we see in the Middle East, especially in, uh, in uh, UAE, that it is the front runner globally in terms of performance. So there are lots of eyes looking at our region. How do you monetize it? What use case have you come with it? So it's a pretty dynamic and interesting region to be in right now in terms of 5G. So I look forward to the coming uh, coming day, coming months, and coming years. And if I could add one more about MWC 2024, if I was to ask you, what would be some of your key takeaways from the event this year? Sustainability, AI, 5G.
performance or API with a touch upon it and uh, network slicing. That's fine. And great fun too. That's six. Nicholas Blixel, thank you very much indeed for your time. Thank you for joining us here at Economic Middle East. My pleasure. Thank you.